everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to do a wrecked ring pour but I'm gonna do it in a different way in the wrecking um, I am going to tell you my colors and then I'm gonna put some paint on the canvas uh, base coat and then I'm gonna put on some music today right now it's the same day as my last video so right now and we'll start painting. All right, so today the colors I am using are Liquitex, uh, Liquitex Basics Prism Violet, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Black and White. And the white has a little bit of Deco Art Americana um, Satin Enamel in it. And then we have Deco Art Americana Metallics in Sterling Silver mixed with Artist Loft Bright Brilliant Magenta, and then on its own, we have Deco Art Americana Metallics in Silver. All right, so the base coat is going to be just some extra um, paint I left had left over in a wheat kind of color, and I'm going to get started. So I'm going to turn on the music and do my thing. So strange. Just a little bit. I'm going to take some of that flow extender I had left over from a previous painting just because I don't want this to roll in around itself.
And that is actually quite cool. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna wipe my hands off a bit. Be right back and do my sides and my corners. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this. So let me get my corners, make sure they're covered. bubbles I don't want to torch too much because I don't want to get those um, too many of those white marks white pop spots but this is super fun small stick so I can clean up the edges the underside so remember to scrape your underside so you don't have your composition changed by pulling paint because the paint does pull there's a little spot over there is that base coat here I want it to be covered a little bit more along the underside of your painting with a popsicle stick or your finger if it's small enough. Mine are not. <laughs> and sometimes when I try to shape my finger, I come up onto the side of the canvas and it messes it up just a little bit. So, popsicle stick for me. Oh, I love how the end of that, inside of that cup looks. Alrighty. So I am going to turn off the music, get you guys down for a close-up. Let me turn off my light because that light reflection does mess up the close-up. Alrighty. So this is my version of the wrecked ring pour. I completely, completely love these lines. Um, this little bulbous looking cells, those come from the satin enamel in white that adds like a cloud effect to it. Oh, I love these colors and I like the hints of blue that metallic cobalt blue is absolutely one of my favorite colors. Um, look at the lines, look at the lines. And if you notice in the center before I poured, I put a little bit of an antique um, bronze a vintage bronze color. So you get a little bit of that coming through in the center there. That's what that comes from. But look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. I'm super excited about that. Look how pretty, 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 pretty. Sorry, I'm boasting on my own art. That sounds a little biased, but oh my gosh, look at that corner. I'm going to definitely do more of these. This is the best wrecked ring pour. Oh, I love it so much. Can't wait until this dries. I don't know. I like this so much. If it dries like this, I may even venture out and put resin on this canvas. It is 20 by 24, but look at that. That is so pretty and I love it. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, thank you for coming to visit my YouTube channel. I will get smoother at this, but I'm loving doing this for you guys. Thanks for watching. This is Arissa, Arissa Rue Art. Take care. Bye. Plenty of pain.